एवरीवन नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड माय वॉमेस्ट विशेस एंड वेलकम लेट मी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ इट्स मी प्रतीक्षा दुलाल एंड आई एम हियर टू टीच यू साइंस ऑफ ग्रेट ट्री इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर so first let's discuss about the matter anything that has weight and occupies space anything that has weight and occupy space that is called matter and we see different materials around us they have different shape and size as well as they have different properties some of them are hard some of them are soft as well as some of them are rough and smooth and some of them are heavy and light so they are different from each other so their properties also different from each other in this lesson we will learn some useful properties of matter so first topic is floating object before we go through the topic let's do some practical Okay, let's start. Let's start from example. Here is a glass of water and a piece of paper. Now I will put this piece of paper into the glass of water. Then what did you see? Have a look. Look it carefully. This paper does not. sink into the water so the piece of paper a piece of paper is floating object you can look at the board the object that stay near or on top of water is called floating object so a piece of paper does not float on the water so a piece of paper is floating object whereas wood is also a floating object floating objects are very light so they float on the water floating bhaneko tairinu so the definition of floating is the object that is stay near or top of the water is called floating object for example a piece of paper wood etc now let's talk about the sinking object so let's do practically Here is a glass of water and I have a stone. Now I will put this stone inside it. What did we see? The stone fall downward towards the water. So the stone sink into the waters. So a stone is a sinking object. Sinking one ko dubnu. the object that fall downward through the water is called sinking object for example coin stone marble etc whereas the sinking object are heavier than the floating object okay now we will go to the next topic that is soluble substances and insoluble substances before we go through the topic I want to give some example and we'll do it practically. Again I have a glass of water and this is a spoon. I will take I will take 1 tablespoon of sugar. This is a sugar. And I will put in inside it and I will stir it. Okay now we will stir it with the spoon. and what will happen to the sugar you can see here sugar get dissolved in this water so sugar is soluble substances soluble substances mane ke okay, oh, those substances which get dissolved in water which get soluble in water that is called soluble substances for example salt sugar etc so soluble substances bhaneko ke raicha 
those substances which get dissolved in water pani ma golini lai ne ke bhaninchha soluble substances bhanera bhaninchha so for example our salt also get dissolved in water whereas sugar also get dissolved in water then we have next topic that is insoluble substances again we will do practical so this is a glass of water and here i have a sand here i have a sand now i will put this sand inside the water then i will stir it with a spoon then what did you see sand is sand get dissolved in water you can see here sand does not get dissolved in water so sand is insoluble substances so insoluble substances one the kyo those substances which does not get dissolved in water pani ma dissolve na hune pani ma na goli ni lai ne ke bhaninchha we can say insoluble substances so for example that is sand and chalk powder so which get dissolved in water that is soluble substances for example salt and sugar and which does not get dissolved in water that is insoluble substances for example sand sand chalk powder etc now we will go through the next topic that is transparent object so transparent object are those objects through which light can pass easily that is called transparent object for example glass glass is a transparent object because light can easily pass through it then plain water a thin plastic ear that are all the example of the transparent object so you can see in the chart here is a boy and he is trying to look that book with the help of a piece of wood but he cannot look that book because the wood is opaque object through which light cannot pass easily so a piece of wood is the example of the opaque object as well as coin book desk they are all the opaque object Okay now I will revise it again about the properties of matter first one is floating objects floating objects are those objects that stay near or on the top of the water that is called floating object for example wood or piece of paper the next one is sinking object sinking objects are those objects which fall downward to the water that is called sinking object for example coin stone etc then the third one is soluble substances soluble substances are those substances which get dissolved in water for example sugar salt etc then the next one is insoluble substances insoluble substances are those substances which does not get dissolved in water that is insoluble substances for example sand chalk powder etc then the next one is transparent object so transparent object are those object through which light can pass easily for example you can write glass ear etc then last one is opaque object opaque object are those object through which light cannot pass easily for example wood coin marble etc so these are the some of the useful properties of matter floating object when you put sairnu sinking object when you go dubnu soluble substances when you go pani ma golinu insoluble substances bhaneko pani ma na golinu teste garera transparent object bhaneko light pass huni hamle pachadi agadi sabai dekhna sakne 
whereas opaque object where the light pass in a So these are all the useful properties of matter. Now I will give some homework for you all. Question number one is What is floating objects? And give it two examples. Second one is what is sinking objects? Give it two examples. Give it two examples that is of sinking objects. Then third one is write any two difference between transparent third one is write any two difference between transparent and opaque object and the last question is list out any Five five examples of soluble and so last question is list out any five five example of soluble and insoluble substances. So this is some work for you all. Today for this much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.